Hello Gemini, welcome to your monthly reading. This is for August. Um, we are going to use the Game of Thrones tarot. That's why you see that sitting out there. So, let's see what we have, Gemini. Okay, we are starting with fertility, which is the empress, harmony, which is the lovers, and new beginnings. Blossoming Abundance and Goddess of the Moon. This looks to me as there was a hump or some kind of issue in a relationship. This is going to surround love. Okay. I try my best to get something else out of a gener this general reading, but it is surrounding love. Um, yeah. August is very loving. Uh, abundant loving energy, um, caring, kind, cuddling. Uh, there's a lot of like connecting and love and relationships and family. There's a there's a lot of that there, but more on the love, more falling more in the love energy. Um, I feel like there's a lot of things. Um, Love is interesting. Also, for those of you who have or just have children, um, it's like you're getting to know things about yourself. You're getting to know things about loved ones. You're getting to know things about children that you didn't know before. Um, and expanding upon that in August, which creates deeper bonds. Yeah, deeper bonds, connecting, and then coming out of this on the other side with a newfound understanding. Uh, okay, Seven of Cups, the Hierophant, the Four of Coins, Ace of Spears, King of Coins, King of Cups, Six of Spears, Knight of Spears. And the three of coins. Bottom of the deck, we have the king of swords. Yeah. This month, you're coming out of this month with a new sense of understanding, especially with the King of Swords. It's like, I know what to do. Um, I'm experienced. I've, I've dove into the mucky water and seen what's at the bottom. So I'm fully aware coming out of the top what I'm getting myself into is what it gets me. Um, that's what I see for you. So I do feel like you came into this month with things being a little bit confusing. This is like in July. Things being a little bit confusing, you having a lot going on, emotionally being here and there, maybe trying to be um, a lot of different things. And what I mean by that is like a coworker, a friend, a mother, a husband, a um, father, a mother, a grandparent, you know, like having all of these roles um, and trying to take on all these roles or even adding new roles um, to your life and wondering like how it's all going to work and how it's all going to come together. Um, <laughs> it's interesting though, because I feel like you come into this thinking everything's going to be the same. I'm just going to tack to this other thing on top of it. Sorry, or tack this other thing next to it. But it didn't quite happen that way. Um, I feel like there is a change. So it's like there has to be um, integration. Okay, so they're giving me percentages. This is going to sound so crazy. They're giving me percentages. So let's say you're 30% 
a, a co-worker, 10% a boss, um, 40% a mother, 50% uh, a wife, something of that nature, right? So you're now adding something else in like an entrepreneur. And now you have to move those percentages around um, to equal 100. So that's what I see you doing, trying to find like harmony and balance in all the things that you're doing um, and making it work for you. And... And, like, figuring out how to, like, be okay with it. Um, so I see you, like, putting things into action to see if it'll work. If it works, you'll keep it. If it doesn't, you'll move on. But I see, I see that going on in August. You will be successful. So you will find a way to work things out. And I feel like you're very adamant about it. You're very adamant about stability. You're very adamant about making everything work precisely in a way that's reliable. You can rely on it. Other people can rely on it. Like, it works as for the collective. Um, and you want, I see that you want to make sure that everyone still gets the same amount of love or care or acceptance from you as well. Um, everything will work out. I will say this for you, Gemini. Um, but there needs to be some balancing. So you're realizing that everybody wants a piece of you or everyone wants, I don't say everything, everybody wants something from you, but everybody wants to be connected to you or make sure that they're getting that same amount of you. But you may have to take back a little bit from someone, you know, um, because it feels like everybody wants a piece of you. And you would love to give everybody a piece, but it all has to work out. So I feel like you're going to be doing things in a new way so that there can be balance. But I'm not worried about you because you have the King of Swords as your overall energy. And that just tells me that you're going to try to make it as balanced as humanly possible. Like the smartest way. Um, and you're the authority, so you make the decisions. You're like, you're going to get 20%. You know, <laughs> it's not debatable, you know. I'm giving 40% to this right now. It's not debatable. But it's enough. I feel like it's fair. Um, so you may have a little bit of fight. I don't say fight with that. Um, okay. Okay. So let's get into love, because I feel like this is going to trickle into love anyway, okay? Okay, <clears throat> Gemini, your love reading. Okay, we have new love. There's either someone new coming into your life, or you're like rekindling a romance, re uh, reconciliation, yeah. Something's coming back around. Um, it's either a rekindlement of your happiness, like in love. You're meeting a new person. Um, and if there's a rekindlement, like the relationship is changing for the better, you know? Okay, so we have trust. Uh, that's the fool again. We have the Magician. Are we going to get all Major Arcana? And the Solar Plexus Chakra. Yeah, you're taking a risk. Um, there's a much needed risk when it comes to love. You know, it's almost like you're opening yourself up to love because you want... You feel the potential of it creating something good. You know, so you're not fighting it. You're not going against the grain. You're like, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this love thing. Let's do this opening up of emotions, you know? Let's <laughs> let's see what comes out of this. Um, and I feel like with you opening up, expanding, or trying something new, it gives you a new perspective. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so we have five of coins, seven of cups, knight of wands, justice, two of coins, queen of wands, ace of wands, the chariot, this is my favorite deck. I had this deck made, actually. Knight of Coins. Uh, they're like velvet. They're amazing. And then Strength, uh, the bottom deck. Or the bottom card. Yeah. I feel like Strength is here because this is out of your comfort zone. Uh, this is you taking a risk that's outside of something you would normally do um, or like to stand strong and to keep going. It's like to have some resilience through this. Okay, so and the reason why is because in the middle you have the two of coins and the two of coins is about balance. You know, it's about making it work. It's about trial and error, trying new things. If this works, this work, does this work, does this work? Are we going to integrate this? Are we going to integrate this? Um, and it's about what you want to bring into your life. So you're trying new things, making choices, changing things up, doing things differently. Um, so... So I feel like you either put a partner to the side or you put love to the side. And in general, you put love to the side. Uh, I feel like you were emotionally confused because I feel like you were putting your emotions and your time into things that were coming towards you. So it's like, oh, I got to deal with this. Oh, I got to deal with this. I got to help somebody with this. I got to go do this. I got to do this. Um, and you were kind of like putting love to the side. Um... You know, being a free spirit and just taking or, you know, picking what was coming to you at the time. So I feel like moving into August, you're like, I want to create something. Like, I want a lasting relationship. I want a happy relationship. I want this kind of feelings of emotion around me at all times. I want to be happy. You know, I want to feel stable. So, so you're trial and erroring. In August to see what works, what sticks, and what doesn't. Um, and I feel like you're very confident about your choices and what you're doing. So you're very, how can I say? I feel like you're not being as hasty in your choosing of where you put your energy in. And you're focusing it on one person, one thing, one um love and I feel like this person is very into it but it's more like you're opening up to it so they're like okay Gemini's into this that's what it feels like so moving forward I feel like this is something that you're going to want to stay with yeah um something is blossoming here and you you want to stick with it that's what i see it's like it all feels to me like it's going in the right direction whoever you're dealing with is going in the direction you're going into they want the same thing you want um focused on the same thing and you're on the path of building something very stable the reason why the strength is here is because you've come from a place where you've been impulsively dealing with other things or maybe other people's issues or uh, it could be a relationship that you just could not let go of, okay? Um, so the strength is to sort of leave that behind to get a better balance of things, okay? All right. Let's get into your spiritual message. <laughs> All right, Gemini. Now to your spiritual energy. Okay. 
snake, clover, mice. I'm going to pull four cards. I don't know why they want to come out like this. So snake, clover, mice, and garden. So just from this energy, um, it's like there is, there was a situation in your life that wasn't for the best. Like if you continued on that path or doing the things that you were doing, you wouldn't be living to your full potential that your spirit guides or that the universe wants you to. Um, so you're getting like a lucky break to make a decision to do something else or go down a different road. Um, it's interesting because I feel like there's a lot of nagging about you changing. Like there's a opposing energy to you wanting to change things. Um, but it's best for you to change things. It's best for you to do things in a different way. Yeah. So you're rediscovering your passion after focusing on something way too much. It's almost like you were trying to express yourself or trying to fix something or trying to help way too much. Um, and now you get to like direct that energy to yourself and to your own life, your own path, your own issues, your own situations to make your life better. Seven of Swords, Three of Wands, Six of Wands. Yeah, definitely a taking of power. August is you taking your power back um, and looking forward to the future or looking into your future. So whatever you feel like is important, whatever seems to be coming at you and you're like, I need to deal with this now, I need to help this person now, really isn't as important as you kind of redirecting it towards yourself and your own issues and your own development, your own growth and where you're going for the future. Because this is about success. So what I'm getting here is, especially with the six of wands, like when you're okay, when you're doing better, when you're happier, when you feel like you're on your path, then you can help everybody else. Okay. All right, Gemini, I love you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.